What is up guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day as always. Welcome to the Major Ben channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Xbox as usual <laughs> and we're going to be talking about the fact that I think that Xbox has changed recently and I think it's for the good and I'm very much here for it. Now, over the last few years, we've been getting like a, a kind of varied group of titles. Like we've had some different things that Xbox wouldn't normally be pushing. Now, obviously they've done the usual thing with Forza and, and Halo and stuff like that. And you know, Halo hasn't been the best. Let's not let's not lie to ourselves here. As much as I enjoyed it, it's not one of the, you know, it's not the best Halo. Um, but we have started to see a different kind of Xbox with the games we've been getting recently. Now, for example, Hi-Fi Rush behind me. Now I know this is a very new title for them, but this is something that's so different and that we wouldn't have seen from Xbox a few years ago. It's just not something we would have got. This is a very different style of game that Xbox wouldn't normally do. This is kind of what you'd maybe more see on the PlayStation platform. And then we've obviously had games like Grounded. Grounded is another one that's been a phenomenal success on Game Pass and is something that I've spent many hours playing with friends. And it's just, again, it's something very different. We then got Pentiment. Obviously, Pentiment is, again, very, very different. Something that people will kind of look down upon at start. Um, but actually, it's done very, very well. It's got a very big following already. You know, people are really, uh, really into that game. Some people don't bother with it. Um, I liked it. I thought it was really, really funny. The kind of, the kind of style of humor was, was really, really good. I thought um, that it's just been very, very overlooked due to the graphic style. And then, obviously, recently, we've had High on Life. Now, I know High on Life isn't, you know, an Xbox Game Studios game or whatever, but it is exclusive to Xbox right now and it's on Game Pass. So I kind of am including that in there because again, that's something we wouldn't have normally seen. And the only way to play that right now is on Xbox. Like this sort of stuff is just new. And I think we are starting to see a new Microsoft or a new Xbox, I should say, uh, that aren't doing things that they would have done in the past. They are very much different now. Now, obviously, we're going to get our usual AAA titles. We're getting the Forza Motorsport, hopefully, this year. And we're obviously seeing brand new titles like Starfield and Redfall this year, which I can't but wait for those titles those i mean looking at that showcase the other day redfall just looks absolutely insane i i love that game um oh sorry i don't know why i said i love that game i love the way that game looks i'm probably going to love that game but i really like the way that game looks already and i'm excited to get my hands on that for sure but like i've been playing hi-fi rush at the moment this game is phenomenal. Like, I would put this so far this year, I know we're only in January, we're going into Feb, but this would be a game of the year contender for me, I reckon, because this, it's so good. It's so fun. It's so different. The timing, rhythms of where you're fighting thing, fighting the different robots and stuff. I actually kind of struggled at the start, but I, I, even though I'm a musician, but I got into it. It's something that I just did get into and I gradually, you know, got used to doing different attacks you've got your your heavy attack that takes two beats rather than one beat for the you know the slower attack if you dodge in time with a beat and jump in time with a beat like it gives it's all a like progression system then you get like ranked you know s rank is the best and, and down from there um but yeah it's just so good like this game is just so colorful it looks so incredible on the xbox series x uh you can tell it's just native 4k gorgeous art style I just think it's really, really good we're seeing something different from Xbox. You know, we're not seeing the usual stuff, uh, the same repeating stuff that we've had for such a long time. And, you know, this isn't an insult to PlayStation at all for people who are suddenly starting to think that I hate PlayStation because I, I don't. I, obviously, my preference is Xbox, hence my channel. Um, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm not even talking about PlayStation. I'm just saying that I think we're starting to see a brand new Xbox with a variety of games, um, creativity and passion that are actually going into these projects and I think that's something that we've needed for such a long time and I want to talk a little bit about what I want to see from them going forward because they're, they're absolutely not perfect they're not doing perfect things right now uh, one of the examples I can think of right now is that 12 month period showcase that they did was such a terrible idea I mean look at Starfield where we, you know we're getting through those months now and we're really really not going to probably see it in that 12 month window now so you know that that is something that's like obviously I want a polished game I'd rather they delayed it but they should have known that going into the 12 month thing you don't 
say 12 months, you know, you just say 2023 or whatever for a game like Starfield that's, that's potentially going to have delays. So, you know, that's something I desperately want Xbox to change. You know, they promised us those 12 month window again, Forza Motorsport, that's been delayed. Are we, are we going to have that in the 12 month window now? Maybe not. It might be a sort of September time of the year game. So, you know, th there's things there that just, it gives you a lack of, you know, trust in the brand. Now, I love what they're doing with all this stuff and stealth dropping a game as good as Hi-Fi Rush. Freaking phenomenal. But they really need to sort out the stuff when, they, with the, when they're talking to the customer and uh, communicating with us. Because, again, you know, not even a date on this showcase that's kind of got a thumbnail there. Like, uh, you know, nothing to do with the date for the, uh, the Starfield showcase, for example. It's like just things like that, communicating more clearly with your fans and followers. Like, just needs to be done it's something that's so important to, to people to to know what's going on with your games when we put such trust and loyalty into the brand you know we want to know where things are at you know it should be something that's communicated better with fans because it, it's it's rightly so that it is done that way like you know you got to talk to people about the games you know we play on your console um like we do with the playstation console and we get usually get consistent exclusives on the playstation console i think it's a bit dry in 2023 i'm not gonna lie but you know, Xbox has had a terrible 2022. We really didn't get very much. And obviously going into 2023, we got such high hopes with obviously Redfall's now got a confirmed date. Minecraft Legends has a confirmed date. Motorsport's been delayed, it seems, from that from that 12 year, uh, 12 year, 12 month uh, window. Starfield, we don't really know anything more about it. We've only seen gameplay that's very laggy and doesn't particularly run well. So I hope that's going to be drastically improved. And we again, we haven't seen anything. We haven't got a date or anything like that. Um, you know, 2023, we, we need Xbox. Xbox to go in on everything this year. They've got a lot to catch up on. And, and one of my biggest complaints is a lot of these games were slated for 2022, right? Let's say all those games had, had been slated for 2022 and they all launched. So Redfall, Starfield, Forza, all 2022. My question is, what were they going to do in 2023? Were they just going to have a blank year? Like, that kind of worries me a little bit. And the same going into 2024. Now, we've got all these big titles we've heard years and years ago about, you know, what about 2024? I know we've got Fable, but I can't see that launching in 2024. Hellblade, maybe, maybe even not then. I don't know. Like, I kind of feel like We've got this huge bunch of games coming out and then things are being a little bit like quietened in the future which i think they need to talk about like i'm not saying they have to go and talk about fable right now like but some just an update on it like you know this is where we're at you know we're very heavy into development just be nice to like get some sort of feedback same with hellblade like we've kind of seen a load of around the launch of the xbox console conveniently we saw a load of stuff around you know um Hellblade and like the cinematics and we're like oh my god it like, literally is the best looking game I think I've ever seen in my life still to now um and it's like you know we've kind of had nothing since and it's like well what's going on there so I don't know I, I just hope and same with Fable we saw that like cinematic trailer and, and again we've had nothing since all that so I just like to get more updates that's one of the things going forward that I'd like Xbox to do better at I think it's important that they communicate with us um because there's been a lack of that and especially now this 12 month window thing has clearly not worked for them they need to change that going forward communicate with the customers better on a more regular basis this developer showcase was phenomenal the best showcase that xbox has done not even xbox i don't i feel like they've got like a whole marketing per company that's come out and done it it's almost like an advert where they just talk to the developers and it works so good still dropping the game fantastic getting a clear look into redfall seeing the developers actually show you how minecraft legends works them actually playing the game and explaining from them not from xbox like higher ups just suddenly like taking the information from the devs and talking to us no it was the devs devs telling us about their passion their game that they've created and that's something that i so loved in that showcase and i want them to do that going forward i hope to god the Starfall showcase is in a couple of months time we get some uh, release dates for it if it's delayed yes it sucks you've missed that 12 month window but you tell us you communicate with us it's not going to be launched we we are we deeply apologize unfortunately there's been some development delays we want to push we want to have this game out for 2023 but it's not going to launch until september and i think people would be way happier way if you were transparent with us with about that stuff in the same time you do forza motorsport and you go oh that's not going to be available until july june uh whatever Whatever time october who cares like just something just tell us something in the next showcase about starfield obviously it's going to be a starfield showcase but tell us the release date of starfield and hopefully add some other stuff in there like you know bring back thoughts of motorsport with a firm date even if it's just a 10 second 
car comes up on the screen, drives past, and it leaves a release date behind it. I don't care. Like, just do something like that and just give us a release date because we're all excited about these games. You know, we love the brand. We love the games you've played. Like, you know, the reason I'm an Xbox gamer is because I grew up with so many of the exclusives from Xbox. Like, I, I grew up playing games like halo gears like i i that's what games i grew up with and i want to see those and again that's something uh, you know it'd be nice to know what's going on with the gears franchise right now because we haven't had anything updated on that halo would be great if they just said right you know we're going to start working on the next freaking game at this point because halo infinite has just not had the support it should have had the campaign was good i like it was okay i liked it um graphically it was amazing it'd be nice to get something you know more in depth start working on it whatever tell us something okay um but that's it for this video Hope you enjoyed this one. I've been playing a lot of Hi-Fi Rush and I've just started Dead Space this morning, um, Saturday morning, depending when you're watching this video, but I've just started Dead Space, played through the first chapter. I didn't play Dead Space when I was younger. That's one game I missed out on. Um, probably too scary for me at that point in my life. Uh, and I was just way too young, to be honest, but um, I'm playing through it. First chapter done and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's like, a, I think I'm like an hour in, which is the first chapter. And uh, yes, it seems really, really cool. It's freaking terrifying and I'm scared already, but I'm going to keep plowing through i'm not too great with scary games some of you will know from the the og major ben days where i actually did playthroughs on this channel which was primarily what i did here and live streams i'm not too great with scary games but uh this is this is a good one for sure uh i'm, I'm excited to kind of uh dive into it further so that's what i've been playing let me know what you've been playing down below and please leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you in future videos bye bye for now guys